And time after time here on Chairside Live, we present the large cosmetic case of the week. For today's case of the week, I want to focus on the preparation and logistics that happen behind the scenes to make these presentations run smoothly and effectively for the ideal aesthetic result we are looking for every time. Let's think of today's episode as the case of every week. And the pre-procedural plan that our operatory at Glidewell Labs follows does not involve any service that is not available to you in your own practice. In fact, we operate as a standalone entity within the lab and perform all treatments exclusively with options that are available to every client. The information that I'd like to pass on to you today comes not only from my experience and time spent chairside as a registered dental assistant, but also selling, coordinating, and scheduling patient treatments. It is important that your office staff has a good feel for every aspect of the cosmetic case, especially every step leading up to the point when the handpiece meets the tooth. Here are my big case steps to success. Well, you've evaluated your patient. They are motivated to begin the smile makeover that they have always thought about. Your treatment presentation and service compensation makes sense. The patient provider trust has been established. Now it's time to seal this deal. At this initial appointment, it is important to provide some sort of actual physical service to start providing treatment to this patient and to help them understand that we are in fact moving forward today. I've seen all too often the excitement of closing the deal and scheduling out for treatment only to receive the call a few days later. The patient is canceling after going home, second guessing, and then ultimately doubting their decision. Instead, explain to your patient that today we are beginning the preliminary steps for treatment. Go ahead and take a full mouth impression, upper and lower full arches, include a bite registration, clinical photographs, facial measurements, finish off any additional radiographs, and then include your patient in the lab slip write-up for their diagnostic wax models. So after these steps are complete, I like to schedule the patient out about a week and a half for a 30 to 45 minute follow-up appointment while I send out for all of our diagnostic armamentarium. So on your initial correspondence with the lab, include the full mouth impressions and bite registration along with all important photography, smile design requests, and measurement requirements on a Glidewell Labs Universal RX form. If you are choosing to request professional study models before the diagnostic wax up stage, follow the same protocol for impression and bite registration, but simply delay sending photos and measurements until you are ready for the wax models. Well, I'd like to request my doctor's diagnostic wax models along with two additional items. I'll ask for a putty fabricated stent simply made from Gladwell's own capture VPS material. This stent comes in handy on more than one occasion throughout treatment. We can first use it as a mock-up stent with acrylic to show the patient how the wax teeth will look in the mouth. Then, on our initial prep date, mocked up once again in acrylic to perform depth cuts for minimal prep veneers. In cases where biotemps are not used for temporaries, this putty stent can also be utilized as a chair side temporary matrix. Additionally, a plastic preparation guide based upon the diagnostic wax up is requested to show my doctor if she's made the proper reductions to allow the final restorations to be fabricated with at least minimal thickness parameters in place. I always double check to make sure that all items are received by the time our patient returns for the next visit. Now, our diagnostic wax up, duplicate models, and stents have returned from the lab and our patient is in the chair for their pre-procedural visit. This visit may seem at first like an unnecessary additional step, but it's important to finalize the patient's understanding of the treatment as well as allow them to communicate all details of their expectations with physical models in front of them. This appointment is the best time to use your putty stent to show the patient a simulation of the teeth size and shape as long as no flared or malaligned teeth prevent the seating of this matrix before preparation. If biotemps are going to be utilized for the temporary stage, this appointment is the best time to pick a shade. Along with the items sent with your wax up, you will find a special RX form to be used for your final restorations. Looking at this form, you can see the areas that allow dimensional changes to be made or to continue moving forward with the proposed wax up shapes. This form is specific to your patient's case and includes your account information and patient's unique case identification number and barcode. This makes it easy for the lab to recall the information, make changes if needed, and process your case to finish. Also, by using this dedicated special RX form, Gladwell Labs extends a 50% discount off of your original diagnostic wax up charge. My patient can now be scheduled for their procedural appointment. In the meantime, there are still two more important steps that I consider. For any cosmetic or smile makeover treatment that includes more than four units, I will always send for a custom tray to be fabricated. All I need to prepare for the custom tray to be finished is a single full arch model or impression. 
To make it easier on myself, I tend to send one of the duplicate models that return with my diagnostic wax up for the custom tray to be made on. I can fill out either a dedicated Glidewheel Removable Appliance RX form or a Universal RX form for the custom tray. I always notate that I would like holes to be placed in the tray to ensure that the impression material locks into place. I prefer the removable lab slip because I can draw a diagram of what I'm looking for just to be specific. Finally, no large case passes by me without a chance to order biotemps. Lately, I have been sending out for CAD design biotemps more than anything. If you want more information on the technology and fabrication process that produces these digital biotemps, Dr. Abai explains everything in detail recently on Chairside Live, episode 187. Depending on how my doctor wants to proceed with the preparations, this could mean one or multiple sessions for my patient in the chair. Biotemps can be designed as a complete roundhouse set, as you see here. Keep in mind that the virtual preparations are designed with draw in mind, so the biotemps seat nicely without getting hung up on the model anywhere. This does not always translate exactly the same in the mouth, when my doctor is more concerned about occlusal space and minimal reductions. You can also request your biotemps temporaries to arrive with a plastic prep stent similar to the stent that arrived with your diagnostic wax model, but in this case, it shows the virtual preparations that your Glidewell Labs tech has made and can assist in verifying the draw of your temporaries and your doctor's overall ideal reduction. Another option for larger cases, and I'm talking about cases of 8 to 10 units or more, could be to order the biotemps in segments as anterior and then posterior left and right splinted units. This is especially helpful for large veneer cases where the mesial and distal reduction is minimal and interference may occur. If a series of prep dates is scheduled, this segmented approach allows me to place the biotemps accordingly instead of having to separate a large roundhouse biotemp chair side. I get a good feel for how my patient will tolerate treatment, consult with my doctor, and then decide the best route to take when ordering biotemps. In the big picture, I order biotemps for the aesthetic look of the facial and incisal. So if there's a little bit of reline that needs to be done around the marginal area on a large span temporary, I'm not too terribly worried about it. To order biotemps, I fill out a dedicated Glidewell Biotemps Provisionals RX form and make sure to specify my preference to every detail of the final product. I'm going to include how I want them splinted or segmented, wire retention if desired, shade, shape, and all details specific to this patient. I'm going to send the opposing model or impression, bite registration, plus a diagnostic wax model, and the original study model or impression. At this point, if I had followed the order of operations that I have outlined so far, I should have all of the model work complete and there will most likely be no need to send impressions. If my doctor and patient like the design of the diagnostic wax up, I just ask the lab to fabricate the biotemps off of that setup but I still make sure to specify shade and segment preferences, if any. On our patient's initial preparation date, I am completely ready with all items to make this procedure run smoothly. To review once again from start to finish, I have sent my initial impressions for study models, if desired, and then for diagnostic wax model, complete with duplicate models, the putty stent of the wax up, and the plastic preparation guide. After diagnostic wax up has been reviewed, accepted, or had changes made, I send for the custom tray and biotemps with or without a plastic prep guide. In addition to all of these items chair side, I have temporary acrylic resin ready to go. In most cases, I'm using Luxatemp Ultra Auto Mix. However, feel free to use your acrylic of choice. This is here in case my doctor places a mock-up using the putty stent and performs depth cuts. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's episode. I truly hope that this helps your practice organize and stay focused when it comes to large cosmetic case preparation. Your patients will notice, and that will absolutely translate towards the value of their investment with you. Doctors, this information is great to review during your next team meeting or morning huddle, and then maybe again periodically just to refresh. My advice today is simply a general overview of a good order of operations that you can modify to make your own within your practice and your own protocols. You trust your skill, and your staff knows how to make you look great. Glidewell Labs is here to assist in every way possible to keep you organized and prepared for exciting and challenging cases ahead.